Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am so fucking excited to be filming. I'm going to be filming a full face using products that beauty gurus made me buy. Basically, this is people in the community, in the beauty world that I that made me purchase them. And I'm gonna talk about what I think about the products, whether I thought the recommendation was good or not. And I thought it'd be really, really, really fun. I actually got this idea from Makeup by Jack, who is another YouTuber. He actually did a video and it was do full face using products Manny MUA made me buy. And I watched it and I thought it was so fucking funny and I was watching it and I'm like that's so funny that like he bought products I had recommended and I was like wait I bought so many products that beauty gurus and other beauty influencers have recommended to me and I thought it'd be such a fun idea so thank you Jack for giving me this idea and I'm gonna of course leave his video link down below that I'm talking about right now because it is his idea and I wanted to give him credit actually I don't know if it's his idea originally or not I just that's the first video I saw personally so I'm gonna give him credit because that's what I saw personally but anyway guys i'm just going to stop rambling because this is a get ready so it's gonna take a little bit longer than usual so let's go ahead and get into this video as always if you guys do not like this video if you guys don't like me please don't fucking watch it you know the fucking joke with that like what's the point what's the point of watching me if you don't like me just don't just don't i get it i'm not everyone's cup of tea but i could be your cup of tea <laughs> but anyway guys if you guys do like this video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and if you're new what's up i'm annie MUA, and welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here i appreciate it but yeah let's go and get into this full face using beauty guru made me buy makeup <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I apologize for this hair. Apologize for my appearance. I literally just got back from the gym recently. I took a shower at the gym, so I like am not the most, you know, like pretty as I can be. You know, but like not that pretty and I need a haircut. So, uh, you know, I know it's rough. It's rough in these streets. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do first, we're going to prime. And first things first, we are gonna start off with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And this I actually bought because of Mr. Jeffrey Star. He used this so often, I was literally shook. He would literally dip his little booty blender in it to this and you just literally put it all over the face and actually guys as you can see i actually have been using it i have been using this a lot recently and i absolutely love it it's so moisturizing it's basically like a moisturizer and primer in one but it's just like i don't know i can't even describe it how it's just so good it makes my skin so hydrated and so plump and supple but keeps my makeup on a little bit longer than usual and basically all i need is this so i really love it like i really genuinely love this and i've been using it for a couple weeks now and it's been great to me. It's truly been great. When I apply it, my smile lines are smaller. That's like a big thing for me. Like how I like foundation is how it reacts to my smile lines and how much it falls into my smile lines. And I noticed that when I'm using this primer slash moisturizer, my smile lines are less. This one, Jeffrey, was a great purchase, bitch. And I appreciate you always using it because it fucking works good. Okay, and next product, guys, we're gonna go with the foundation. And this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. And this bad bitch was recommended to me by my homegirl, my country bumpkin, Laura Lee. <laughs> Laura Mercier, Laura Lee. I see you there, girl. I see you. She always raves about this. She always tells me that it's such a good foundation. And it stays on her face so long throughout the day. And I've actually worn this once and I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And we're going to see how this reacts. Also, the coverage is great. It's fucking great. Also, you guys, I'm in the shade 1 and 2 Vanille. Not vanilla, because it has an E at the end. Vanille. And honestly, I just feel like it looks so pretty on the skin. Like, it really just looks fucking bomb, bro. And it's actually, like, kind of my color, which is great. It's not even, like, too much darker than me. And you guys know I love to go darker. I do. I feel like the coverage is beautiful. It's like a medium to full coverage. The finish is so pretty and it lasts on the skin all day long. P.S. Just in case I forget, I apologize if I forget throughout the video, but I wanted to do this. I bought this at Sephora. This is where I bought this. And I also bought the Laura Mercier Foundation at Sephora as well. I think it'd be cool to be able to say like where I actually bought the product. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but honestly, the foundation is just fucking beautiful. It really is. Like, I'm shook. Laura, you fucking did that. Thank you so much for this recommendation because honestly, I love it. I always like use products that other beauty people use. Like, if they recommend something, I'm much more inclined to try it than just seeing it on a shelf. Does that make sense? Like, I just feel like there's so many products nowadays that I'm so like, it's just very saturated. And so I'm like, you know what? Like, I really need to like hear about this product first before I go out and buy it. Not trying to sound like vain or trying to sound like, oh, I'm so cool, but I do get sent a lot of beauty products. So many sometimes that it's like overwhelming for me to actually try out some of the products in there because truly like the amount of products sometimes sent, like it's, I can't use it. Even if I used it every single day, I couldn't use everything up. So that's why I, I like to do giveaways and I like to give away to charity and things like that. So whenever I see one of my friends talking about a product, I'm much more inclined to use it from the PR packages or go out and buy it myself because they usually talk about products I really like. So uh, yeah, 
Go friends. Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna go in with some concealer and this concealer I have been loving since I tried it. <laughs> this is from NARS. This is V, the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And where I heard about this was actually Jackie Ina's channel. She, I remember seeing her use it. She like used like a flat, it was like a flat concealer brush and she put this on and it looked so fucking bomb on her. Like y'all don't understand. It looked so good on Jackie's under eye and her skin and everywhere. And I was like, so I actually went out and bought this at Nordstrom. I was at uh, um, the Grove and I was in Nordstrom and I'm like, oh my God, that's concealer Jackie used. And so we're gonna use that. And now I love it. Like I truly, it's so fucking amazing. And the coverage is amazing. Oh, the finish is amazing. It's all fucking great. It truly is. I'm gonna take this on a Morphe E45 brush. I'm just gonna use a little, like, bitch. I'm sorry, but if this isn't a beautiful under eye, I don't know where it is. I really don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't know. I mean, Jackie's under eye still looked better than mine right now in their video, but it's all good. It's all fucking good. P.S. you guys, I don't always get to watch like beauty gurus or <laughs> beauty influencers videos nowadays because I feel like I travel a lot and I also don't want to ruin the opinions for myself when I'm doing like, a review or something like that. So I don't really tend to watch too many YouTube videos of other beauty gurus and stuff like that. But these products were like things that I distinctly remember other beauty influencers talking about. So I was like, bitch, I need to try some of these. So even though some of these products might be from like a while ago, you guys might be thinking, what the fuck? When the fuck did she talk about that? Or when that was so long ago. Yeah, it's because it was a long time ago and I don't watch videos as much nowadays. So all in all guys, the product, the NARS concealer, I love it. Jackie, you did that. Next product we're going to go in, we're going to actually set the whole entire face now and we're going to go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder. And y'all, years ago when I was a makeup infant, I never set my face, I never baked my face, I never did any of that stuff. So Patrick Starr actually got me into using the Laura Mercier powder. Also, Tati Westbrook as well. So this is actually really, really funny. This story in general is really funny. So me and Patrick are hanging out and we met Tati at Naomi's, which is like a makeup store here in LA. I was such a huge fan of her and she wanted us to all hang out. So I was like, dude, let's fucking do it. Let's go to Naomi's, let's just shop around. So Tati actually recommended this powder and so did Patrick and they were both like, dude, this powder is so amazing. You should definitely try it out. And Patrick kind of is the one that got me into baking and cooking my face. like for sure. And it's just so funny, like like how different products bring back different memories. And honestly, this is like one of the best powders in the whole entire beauty industry, truly to me. To me, it's one of the best powders I've ever tried. This powder will never not be one of my absolute favorites. It's so good. It gives you such a beautiful finish. It's mattifying, but it's not too drying. It's just good. Before I started even baking my face, before I even started doing more powder and heavier powder setting, I was using Mac Studio Fix to set my face. And that's fine, but if you like just wanted it to look pretty, which I did, I just wanted it to look good. But for longevity and keeping things on the skin for hours and hours and hours, I would recommend a translucent powder and maybe setting it your face a little bit more intensely than usual like how i'm doing right now i'm using an excessive amount of powder but also using a beauty blender to do it so tati and patrick the powder that shit goes to you that shit goes to y'all okay now we're gonna go on and move to the bronzer and the bronzer i'm gonna be using is this by Marc Jacobs. This is the Tantastic Bronzer. And this guy, I started using because of Kathleen Light. Seriously, Kathleen is just the sweetest, cutest, most like adorable ass fucking little thing. I just wanna pinch her face. I don't know, I just do, I, that's all I wanna do. So actually, it's really funny because I remember her saying that she bought the other Marc Jacobs bronzer because of me, but it was too warm on her. And it was a little bit too warm on me too, but I loved the formula so much I didn't really give a fuck. This one, I remember her talking about and saying how amazing it was because it's a little bit more cool toned. And honestly, ever since she talked about it, I bought it. The first one I got, I bought, it shattered, and Marc Jacobs saw, and they actually sent me a new one. Marc Jacobs out there, thank you guys so much. This is actually the ones they sent me. And if I was sent a product, I'll definitely disclose it to you guys. Like, I'm not gonna be all like, I bought all these products, but not really. Like, I actually did. Anyway, guys, the brushes I'm gonna be using, these bitches were recommended by me. And these bitches are really good. And I think that you guys will all like them, okay? Oh, this bronzer is so good. It's just so fucking beautiful. It's a little warm still. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still a little warm. People love to clock me and be like, you're way too orange. Your bronzer is way too orange. And I'm like, why don't you eat my fucking ass? How about that? Why don't you be useful and eat my fucking ass? One more thing I'm gonna do because of Miss Kathleen. Oh, Kathleen is just, I just really trust her with powders. I really do because she has drier skin and she knows what's good powders on her. She just gets it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, which I bought because of her. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this underneath the eye a little bit just to brighten up everything a smidgen. This really does give you such a beautiful flawless under eye look. It's a beautiful powder. It's not drying. It doesn't look heavy on the face. You can literally keep piling on this powder and it doesn't look heavy. I don't know how but it doesn't. 
I think that this would be such a fun tag, like if other people did this, if other YouTubers like saw this video, I think it'd be really, really fun if they did a full face using products that beauty gurus made me buy. I just think it's fun. Like looking through my makeup thinking like, dude, I bought this because of this bitch. I bought this because of your ass. This guy I bought at Nordstrom. This guy I bought at Sephora. Okay, 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 okay. So now let's go ahead with some blush. I'm gonna be taking the Milani Luminoso blush. If y'all bitches watch the beauty community, you know that Nikki Tutorials is notorious for using Luminoso blush. And I actually went out and bought this at Target because of her. Was it Target or was it Walmart? I can't remember. It was a drugstore. I bought it at a drugstore. So I'm gonna take Luminoso on a Morphe E4 and I'm gonna put that onto the cheeks. This is such a beauty. It's like a, I don't, ugh, it's like a beautiful apricot. It's like an apricot pink with a gold sheen to it. It does have a sheen to it guys So if y'all have a lot of texture, it might not be your favorite I have texture and I still love it. So I'm just I'm just putting it out there So this is the face so far guys. We have the blush on it's such a beautiful fucking blush Nikki You did that. I feel like you're the one that started the craze luminoso. You started that shit. Okay. I'm just saying I think you did let's go ahead and talk about a highlighter now that I bought because of a certain influencer this guy is the Sleek Makeup Solstice palette. And I actually bought this because of Miss Jaclyn Hill. She, I remember her Snapchatting it like a while back and I saw her Snapchatting it and I was like, it was so fucking blinding. I was shook, truly. I either bought it on a Sleek website or on Amazon. Can't remember exactly, but y'all, this fucking shade, specifically, this is the color that she was talking about and she used, and she used it on her Snapchat. And I was like, I remember she put it on and it was like, maybe there was like a filter on over her or something and it looked so blinding and I was like, there's no way it's actually that blinding. Like there's no fucking way. There must be some like weird lighting or the filter's fucked. But then I bought it and... Eres. A really Hela is. And I remember I was using this shit for... I was using this shit for months. Like I was using it religiously because it is so fucking intense. Like... Y'all see that shit? Y'all see that shit? It's fucking insane. Morphe R36 is what I'm using on the cheeks. My Like one of my favorite highlighting brushes ever. I actually almost used Becca Champagne Pop instead of this guy. But Champagne Pop, I didn't technically buy. So I was like, nah. If I'm going to do a highlight, bitch, it's going to be Jaclyn. Like I'm going to use Jaclyn for that section. You know what I'm saying? Cool. So we have the base done, you guys. We have the base fucking done. I'm not gonna contour tonight. I just don't feel like it. I don't wanna, I don't feel like contouring right now. I remember Nikki always suggesting, no, it was actually fucking, no. It was Miss Fame that always talked about the Kevin Aquan medium sculpting powder and I would always use that for my nose. I just don't know exactly where it's at right now. I literally have no idea. That shit is lost in the fucking futuro. I would use that shit all the time because of Miss Fame. She counts as a beauty influencer. She influences me in my beauty, so. She counts. It's a little warm. It's a little bit of a warm nose contour, not gonna lie. But uh, can't find my other one. <laughs> But we're gonna deal and we're not gonna comment about the nose contour being so warm okay we're gonna forget that it happened okay so guys we're basically done with the face now i'm gonna go ahead and do some i'm just gonna do a couple faux freckles real quick just a, qu a quick little thing and i actually got this method from james charles he would always use the anastasia beverly hills dark brown brow is and i remember like seeing one of his videos like of him doing freckles and i was like is that how you do it like i was such a fucking fool i had no idea to do little freckles but i thought they were so cute and that was such a cute little face I love the faux freckle face, you guys. I really fucking live for it. And I like the way he did it. He would like put them on, beauty blender them out, put them on, beauty blender it out, and like really make it just look a little bit more seamless and pretty. So I'm gonna do that. And I know it's not technically like buying a product because of him, but this is something that I did because of him. I'm gonna do it right now because James fucking sister MUA. The bitch did that, okay? He is like a, a faux freckle fanatic. I literally like lived for it. So I watched his little video, like literally this is like a year ago. Like it was such a long time ago. I watched how he did his little faux freckles cause I always thought they looked so adorable. Nikita is also like a big faux freckle kind of girl and I love the way she does it as well, but she also uses a pencil. This is not Nikita's moment. Nikita's moment is at the end. Cause I have a product that she used and I literally went out and bought it because she looked so fucking good in it. So there's that. Like I want it to look really dainty and hella pretty, you know? Okay, we're gonna beauty blender this guy to make it look a little more natural. Here we go. So we got some faux freckles on right now and this is what they look like. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to do like a billion, but I just want to do a couple to make it look like the foundation was like not that heavy, not that full coverage. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want it to look like I'm a natural girl. You know? Okay guys, so now we are officially, officially done with the base. This is everything that I have so far. I'm gonna go and do the brows off of camera. I don't really have a product from the brows. I was like, oh my God, that's a, that, that beauty guru made me buy it. Like, no, I like have been using brow products for a long time. I was sent Anastasia products and I've always used Anastasia products and Benefit products. So there was never anything that like, I was like, oh, I'm using this because of you. Like I just like certain things and I just, I never really bought anything specifically because of any other person saying that I should. So I'm just gonna do the brows off of camera and I'll be 
right back okay guys so now we have the brows officially on just a quick a quick brow anyway you guys so now we're gonna go in with the palette and the palette was actually the hardest part because i have bought so many palettes in my goddamn day but i finally found one that i bought because of influencers i actually bought the natasha denona sunset palette because of tati and jacqueline both of them were so hyped for this palette that it made me hype for the palette so i was like oh yeah i want to buy it too like you know how it is when it's like so many people are hyped for something and they've been talking about it a lot like jacqueline was talking about this palette tati was talking about this palette and i was like so I bought this off of a Beautylish. It was either Beautylish or Beauty Bay. I can't remember, but it was one of those two. And it's actually really funny because I bought this and then literally like a month later, I got it sent to me in the mail. So my mom now has a Sunset palette. So this is what the palette looks like, guys. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful palette. Bitch, that's stunning. I'm sorry, but that's stunning. I was like thinking, I was like, oh, I want to do something holiday. Bitch, that's not going to fucking happen. How the fuck am I going to do something holiday with this? So we're going to go in and we're going to go and start using this Sunset palette, which is quite stunning. We're going to go in with a Morphe R40, which is like a big fluffy blending brush. I'm going to take this pink. I'm actually going to take this pink right here, the soft pink, and a little bit of the yellow as well. Just a little, a little dab of the yellow. And we're going to put that into the crease. The mattes of the shadows, guys, are beautiful. And I say the mattes because the mattes are really, really nice, but sometimes the shimmery, intense metallic shades from, from Natasha Dona are too flaky. And I'm fine with a flaky shadow, don't get me wrong. I'm fine with it, but sometimes when it's like too flaky, I'm a little overwhelmed and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So now we're gonna go in with this guy right here, which is like a really, really warm brown and mix a little bit of this darker deep brown. And that's gonna go on the outer corner. And we're gonna make this guy just a really beautiful, smoky situation it's gonna be a smoky outer corner we're not gonna make the whole thing smoky we're just gonna be a smoky outer corner i'm actually gonna go ahead and continue that color down my lower lash line see what i'm saying like out here i'm gonna bring it out on that same morphe m433 and just wing it something on the lid guys i want to take this beautiful golden bronze shade right here i'm gonna take my finger because this shade is so flaky it like will fall off on you and it's annoying it really is. I'm just gonna use my finger with this. I'm gonna put this onto the lid because I wanna do a red lip, so I wanna be kind of festive with that, you know what I'm saying? Come on, fall out on my cheeks. Cool. The shades are beautiful. Literally so beautiful. I just wish that they were a little bit easier to use, you know? Let's go and take this frosty white glittery shade and highlight the inner corner with that. Wow, that's bright. Holy shit. She said, let there be light on the seventh day, huh? So now we're gonna go ahead and do the brow bone real quick. And here we have a beautiful, Beautiful, sunsetty, easy, quick eye. And add a little bit more of the dark brown on the outer corner, actually. Okay, we have one eye completely done right here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye off of camera and I'll be right back. Okay, cool, so we finally have both eyes completed. We are done, so now we're gonna move on to the mascara and the mascara of choice today is brought to you by Laura Lee and Patrick Star. <laughs> they both recommended me trying the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and I never had tried it before they recommended it to me and I was like, okay, cool, I'll try it out. I got it and I literally fell in love with it. It was, it was so good. I used this for a long time, for like a while. It makes your lashes just so thick and intense. So I just kind of do this more so as a step to make sure that my real lashes flow with my fake lashes because y'all bitches know. I'm gonna be putting falsies on today. Okay, amazing, so we have the mascara on and now we're gonna put on some falsies. And usually guys, I'm, I always skip doing the falsies on camera. I never really show me using false lashes and me applying them because I just feel like it takes too fucking long and it's annoying as fuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply them for this video because I wanted to talk about the falsies I'm gonna be using today. So these are from Lily Lashes and I wanted to talk about Gabriel Zamora, Gabby, my motherfucking bitch, who I love so much. He's actually the one that got me into Lily Lashes because he worked at Lily Lashes before he worked at Ipsy. He was actually the social media rep for Lily Lashes. And he had gave me a couple of pairs because he was a social media person. So this one is a product I never personally bought myself, but Gabby is the one that got me into it. And he was the one that like got me into the Lily Lashes family. These lashes, which I'm gonna be using are in the style Miami. Those are the lashes I'm going to be applying today. And since I'm not wearing actual eyeliner today, it's really, really important for me to go ahead and push the lashes up so we can hide the band a little bit better. Okay, lashes are on. Lashes always make me feel the most canty. Me, me, me. We're just gonna go and do the lips and we are officially, officially done. This product I bought because of Miss Nikita Dragon. I literally saw her wearing it like a couple days ago, like three or four days ago on her Snapchat and on her Instagram story. And I was like, bitch, you look so fucking good in that color. Like I was so shook of how good it looked on Nikita. I went out and bought it myself. I bought the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. I believe that's what it's called. It's not, Stunna is not the lip shade. Uncensored is a lip shade. 
I don't know. I could be fucking wrong, but that's what it shows on here. So this is from the Fenty Beauty collection by Rihanna, of course. And I do get sent PR from Fenty Beauty, but they never sent out this lipstick. So I went out and bought it at Sephora. I've never tried this before. Oh my gosh, this is the first time wearing it. <clears throat> I'm excited. Oh, that's fucking, wow. That's nice. That is fucking nice. I love the little applicator. Also, I wanted to do an honor honorable mention shout out to Alyssa Ashley because I saw her do a video. It was on Twitter and it was a video of her applying this lipstick on her lips. And she already has the most perfect lips ever. Like, actually, the most perfect lips ever. She was another reason I went on about this too. I was like, oh, bitch, you look kind of fine. <laughs> I should have lip lined first. Fuck. I'm never really good at going in with just the lipstick itself. Damn. Let's let this bitch dry and I'll clean her up. Ugh. Okay, honestly, guys, this lipstick feels amazing. It's very, very comfortable. It's a matte formula, but, like, this is one of those that will transfer on you. Like, it's not fully, fully, fully matte, but I kind of live. Like, it feels so, so, so comfortable. I don't think that you can make out with this and it not come off because I've had this on for a good, like, what, like, a couple minutes now and it still hasn't fully dried down. Actually, it has fully dried down, but there's still some transfer to it, but it makes it so comfortable and I really like the way this feels. Nikita and Alyssa, thank you so much for pushing me to buy this lipstick because it looks fucking amazing and I love Look at my teeth in this. It looks great. Okay, you guys, and that is it for today's entire video. Full face using products that beauty gurus made me buy. This is how the face turned out. And honestly, I had so much fun doing this. It was so much fun. I feel like I should do it again. I don't know. If you guys like this video idea, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do this again. I just had so much fun using products that a lot of people influenced me to buy. And a lot of the products here worked amazingly. Honestly, I didn't have any problems with these products whatsoever. Other than the Natasha Denona palette, like I feel like the shadows are a little flaky, you know, a little intense and that kind of gets on my nerves. But other than that, it was fucking great. Like this video turned out absolutely amazing. I'll leave everything I talked about in today's video linked down below, of course, like I always do in every video. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Everything will be linked down below as well. But yeah, you guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. I love you. Mwah. Let's get this started. I'm a fucking mess today. I don't care. Didn't shave. I'm a fucking mess. Okay? I'm a fucking mess. Let me be a fucking mess. Please, today, guys. I'm just a mess. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm putting you all through this, you know? It's rough in these fucking parts. In these private parts, it's rough. Also, you guys, I'm in the shade 1 and 2 Vanille. Not vanilla, because it has an E at the end. Vanille. Bitch, just say vanilla. <laughs> don't start with me. So next, guys, we are going to go in with some concealer, and this is like my cum. My cum? Oh my God, get you out of the fucking gutter, bitch. Miss Kathleen motherfucking lights. This really does give you such a beautiful, flawless, flawless, hmm? Love, love, love. Love, love. I still fucking love it, despite my texture. Fuck texture, dude. Fuck. Yes. I don't know why the Chola's coming out, guys. I apologize for the Chola. She wants to be broken free. I keep trying to hold her back, but she really doesn't want to be held back. I got harder, I got smarter in the nick of time. Because I'm a smart bitch and... No, 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 that's not how it goes, huh? Boom! Why do I keep saying fucking boom? Honestly, it's not like a fucking cow. Beam! Oh, fuck, I almost like fucking cracked my neck open. Ooh! I got a kink right now. I got a neck kink, guys, I'm just letting you know.